150 years ago, my great-great-great-grandfather left Germany for the United States, and last year, I decided to go back to the old world and check up on the kinfolk. There we go. Hello, this is Eric Stripling, and this is Philip Packard, mm -hmm. and we are on all American European who loves America. <laughs> and we are on our way to visit uh, some of my relatives in Stein. We have been traveling for three hours so far. Without a car, unfortunately, because we're in Europe. And this is beautiful Baden, Germany. We were met at the train station by Mr. Karl Heinz Mappus, who we found in the yellow babies. And despite our call at 10 o'clock the night before, he graciously offered to give us a tour of Stein and a short family history. But first, he took us out to a German restaurant for a little Wiener Schnitzel. But uh, Stein didn't burn uh, Wurtemberg. Little German Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah. This is just. Yeah, Wiener is ohne sauce, normalerweise. Next up on the agenda was a tour of Stein. But that usually meant that I was in the back seat of Mr. Maps's car listening to a lot of unintelligible German. I'm quite sure that Philip Packmore understands more about my family history than I do. Nonetheless, I found it fascinating to look out the windows and imagine myself 150 years in the past. And when English was spoken, it uses something very interesting. Uh, the red one. No. This rote house is the Scheune. That's the mit Kuster, also where the cows were. There are a special house for cows. Oh. Mm -hmm. Und hier, wo der freie Platz ist, wo nichts mehr ist, da war dieses Fachwerkhaus gestanden. And where, where there is nothing, the gap, there was this uh, old house of his parents. Ah, okay, and it's gone now. Yeah. It's it's gone now, yeah. Also, it's not there anymore. So wait, the red one was it's, for the... It's the house that uh, he showed you on the picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And now it's a bar. So this was standard procedure for all... Uh, for all Americans. <laughs> all Americans, no. <laughs> After serving my time in the pillory at Town Hall, the next stop on our tour was the Lutheran Church, a place where for hundreds of years Mappuses have been born and baptized, buried and married. <laughs> I tried taking footage of the church's interior, however the lack of lighting made this almost impossible. Outside the church, Karl Heinz showed me vestiges of the old city wall. Each of these plaques bears the inscription of the ruler at that time, and you can see that the plaques written in the 1600s actually are written in Latin. One of the most interesting and disappointing moments in my trip to Germany was when Karl Heinz showed to me the burial plot of his parents. In Germany, Headstones are removed after 25 years to make space for the new people to be buried. Is this normal in Germany to take away the gravestone? After a certain period of time, yes. So you don't have old graves? They're all... Uh, Probably if you're very rich or very popular, very famous, or if you did something special, oh. the gravestone will be around for longer. But otherwise, uh, if you're a normal uh, person, <laughs> there's no reason except for your relatives to remember you. Okay. But so, for example, the grave of, I don't know, our first <coughs> chancellor, Konrad Adenauer, is still there. Yeah. But uh, of my grandfather, probably not. Last, we return back to the house of Karl Heinz to pour over old family pictures and documents, trying to figure out the link between our two families. Eric, do you know this uh, shop? No, 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 no. I don't think it's there anymore. Ich meine aber, dass irgendwo was in Charleston, dass ihr mal was mit einem Vormalshaus. Yeah, this ah? is Wilhelm. This is Wilhelm. Okay. Ich weiß nicht. Ich bin nicht sicher. Yeah. Sis or sis. We finally came to a consensus 
that our common ancestor was Mr. John George Mappus, who lived in Stein, Germany from 1803 to 1872, and whose three sons immigrated to America, most likely in search of new farmland. This was the last thing that we did before Philip and I got back on the train. I had an incredible experience and I'll always remember the friends and family from this trip. Thank you to all who made this possible. I was still in the And then people would come and torture them. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's right. Because of people like this man is keeping peace between our great nations.